Well, I thought I had all of Craftsman's cordless leaf blowers, the V20 and the V60, but I was walking through the hardware store the other day and I found the baby. So let's unbox it and check it out together. Now the two that I've got already from Craftsman are the one from the V20 platform. This one is 350 cubic feet per minute, that's CFM. This one's nearly double that at 600. The miles per hour is 100 here, 110 here. Now this one's actually 125 miles per hour, 95 CFM. But I think that the miles per hour is probably due to the smaller diameter of the tube. That's my only guess. If you guys have any ideas, let me know what your theory is on that. But let's get rid of these two and unbox this guy. All right. All right, let's see what we got inside here. Looks like some accessories. Let's bust those out. They're all tied up together. The blower itself. One more tube. Let's get that guy out of there. Owner's manual, of course. And another tube. That pretty much does it for the box. Oh, it's so tiny. Look at that, guys. So I'm imagining that uh, these stay connected so that you don't lose them. All right, here's all the pieces that come with the compact leaf blower. Of course, you don't get the battery, so you're gonna need to pick one of those up. In fact, let me borrow one from the V20 platform. This is actually the four amp hour battery. Um, you don't need a big honking one like that. You can just use the two amp hour, the smaller version of that. So let's go ahead and put this together. Looks like put this plastic tube on here, twist it on there, and then you can use this that twists on there, and then you can use one of these additional little tips, which is kind of cool. Those stay connected so you don't lose them. Good job on that, Craftsman. I hate losing these things. That's the thing with these products. You get all these accessories and you end up losing them. So let's pop that one off because the other option is to put that one on like that. That twists on there like that. So this is a hard plastic right here. This here is a more bendy rubber. These attachments, don't work there, only there. So let's go ahead and put the battery on. And it said there were three speeds. So let's check this out here. I'm gonna blow the box off the table here. There it goes. <laughs> Oh, okay, speed adjustment right here on the top. Look at that. One, two, three. Let's try that. There's one. There's two. And three. Whoa. <laughs> that is pretty powerful for your little guy. Look at that. <laughs> Do not aim this at people, by the way, or cameras, or camera gear, or lights, or anything like that. So why would you have one of these small leaf blowers as opposed to one of these big honking ones? Well, first, the size difference. Look at that. This thing's huge. If, uh, if that's a grande, we'll call this a, call this a venti, grande, and a tall. These things are hurricane. Great for yard work, also great for yard work, just bigger size. Um, but this guy here, this is great for having around the shop or uh, for inside the car if you need to blow out junk inside your car, you know, cars get messy. So this is a great idea for that. Or if you've got a truck, you've got a bed, it's easy to blow things out with that. So anyway, I really like this nice compact, especially if you just have, come on, twist off there. If you just have this short part and have this on there, you know, Keep this around the shop or in the car. You can get into all those nooks and crannies. <clears throat> hmm. It's a good thing to have a manual. So this is an inflator deflator attachment and it goes on the deflator intake. 
line up the detents on the attachment with the notches on the top, bottom, and the sides of the intake, which is this little guy right here. Press the adapter onto the intake and then to remove the inflator deflator uh, attachment from the tube or intake, pull the adapter well, obviously. So although this works here for inflating things, which I was right about that, this also can be put onto the intake. So that's actually pretty cool. So it's a blower, inflator, deflator, who'd have thought? I'm gonna keep this one in the shop, use it around here, blowing stuff out off the workbench, dirty spaces, and probably keep it in my truck so I can blow out some of the debris um, from inside, which happens more often than I like, as well as the bed of the truck. So anyway, got a link in the description. Go check that out. I'll catch you next time for another one.